Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Advent of Cyber. Welcome back to Advent of Cyber 2025. And this is day two, and I am honored, super excited to help kickstart the party with today's challenge. So I am online at the Try Hack Me Advent of Cyber, and there's a link below in the video description if you'd like to play along. But for today's task, we'll be doing some fishing. The title here is Merry Clickmas, and we get to learn how to use the social engineering toolkit to send phishing emails. So you know the drill here, you know the order of operations. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this task one to take a look at the introduction. Here's the story. In light of several recent cybersecurity threats against the best festival company, acronym TBFC, the local red team has scheduled several penetration tests. The red teamers proceeded to carry out these pen tests against TBFC. FC, and what they're doing as part of that is sending some phishing emails. This is super common, by the way, in real cybersecurity, when you have an authorized penetration test and authorized phishing, you get to prove or validate the cybersecurity awareness training that you or your organization is doing is actually working. So we get to be part of the best festival company red team with the elves Recon McRed, Exploit McRed, and Pivot McRed. We get to go ahead and execute the phishing campaign. That means we'll learn and understand what social engineering is, the different types of phishing, how we could create fake login pages, and use the social engineering toolkit to send a phishing email. Now to dive in here, we will need to spin up some of the infrastructure, but TryHackMe makes this extremely easy because we get to use their attack box, all part of the platform, all available in your browser, and we could just click a button to start that whole machine alongside another target VM. So I'm going to click start attack box. And while that is spinning up on the side, I also want to start the target machine here. There we go. Now, while these are cooking, we can keep on reading. Oh, but let's go ahead and answer the question here. I have successfully started the attack box and the target machine. Check. That's done. Now let's get to the phishing exercise and read a little bit about social engineering. Social engineering refers to manipulating people, the users, and having a user make a mistake. Maybe they're tricked or fooled or deceived into sharing their passwords, their credentials, or running a malicious program like a virus or malware, or approving a payment, like literally sending money over the wire. And the key word there is social, because it means it's attacking or hacking humans, people, not just computers. But we've got our attack box just about ready for us, so I'm gonna close out of the terminal that starts there, and let me finish setting the story here. What we get to do is send a phishing email, and phishing is a part of social engineering. And there are a lot of newfangled new words to send things over a different kind of format, like not strictly an email address, but maybe text messages, like SMS. So they call that smishing, or voice phone calls, vishing, maybe using a QR code for quishing. Uh, you call it what you want, okay? Personally, I think we can pretty safely just call it all phishing and know that that is social engineering. The thing is, you don't want to fall for that. You, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, sons and daughters, everyone in the family here at Christmas time doesn't want to fall for phishing emails. So the advice is to stop. S-T-O-P. Stop, pause, and take a second to ask yourself, look, is this email suspicious? Is this message, whatever you received, telling you to do something? Like, click on something. Is there some unbelievable deal? Is there something beyond your wildest hopes and dreams? Is it unrealistic? And maybe is it pushing you to do something right now with urgency? So when you stop to think about that, you can then stop even more and slow down. Scammers, hackers, all these threat actors and cyber criminals are trying to take advantage of your urgency, of your adrenaline. And don't blindly trust whatever they include in the email address. Maybe if it's a website, you type the address or the URL to the site on your own. Don't click or copy whatever's included in the message. And try to verify. Make sure this is from a real person. Check the from address, the number, not just looking at what's displayed. So those are some of the things you can do to stay vigilant. But if we put our hacker hat on, if we try to act like the adversary, we want to understand what does this really look like? That's where the real education comes from here. So let's try and do it. Let's see what it looks like. Just how easy it is to send a phishing email. So in this scenario for Advent of Cyber Day 2, we want to acquire a target user's login credentials. We want their username and password. So we want to try and fake or masquerade and impersonate what looks like another best festival company login page. 
We'll include that in a phishing email and send it to the victim. But it's not just a matter of putting up a login page, we still need to actually have the logic to collect the credentials, to really see and receive what they typed in for their username and password. And this is another piece as to why Advent of Cyber and Try Hack Me's work here is awesome, because they have already set this up for us. They've got a script prepared so that we could really fish someone, fool and social engineer them. So I'm gonna open up this attack box in full screen so that way we can see this a little bit better. And I'm gonna open up a terminal over here and I can see my IP address 10.65.118.60. Now, if I make the font size a little bit bigger, I wanna make sure you can see this, but I'm gonna see what directories do we have using the ls command just to list stuff in my current directory. And there is a rooms folder that I could CD or change directory into. Now they told us we could go find an advent of cyber 2025 subdirectory and within there a day02 folder which then should have a server.py script. This little program, this what we run as the attacker on the attack box is standing up or serving that fake login portal. That will be the website that the victim falls victim to and enters their password so that we get to see it. Let's do it. Let me go ahead and dot slash to run our server.py script. And then it says starting the server on HTTP colon slash slash 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 or all interfaces on port 8000. Now we know our IP address is 10.65.118.60. So when we craft our phishing email, we want to include a link to this page. But let me show you what this page looks like super quick. I'm opening up Firefox, just my web browser, so that I can go in the URL 10.65.118.60. There we go, took a second, and we want ports, so a colon there to note that, 8,000. And once I hit enter, we'll go see what the victim will end up falling for. Remember, we wanted to replicate like a best festival company login page. So they think they're logging in to the real actual system, but we're laying the trap. It took just a second to load, but you can see the best festival company staff portal with our sock misoperations re-authentication. They would enter their username and their password, and then once they click sign in, we get to see what they submitted. Now that we have the server set up, we can go ahead and use the social engineer toolkit. This is super cool. This is where we're doing some of the lead hacks. This is the social engineering toolkit utility from Dave Kennedy. Big shout out, kudos, credit where credit is due. You all know Dave Kennedy is incredible, awesome, over at Trusted Sec, Binary Defense, We Hack Health, doing super cool stuff. Way back when, Dave wrote the Social Engineer Toolkit, and I think it's been showcased in the television show Mr. Robot, and Dave helped consult on that, but this has been around for a while. I think even the copyright here is 2020, but you could see some commits in the GitHub repository that are from like eight years ago. And again, this is all for penetration testing. It's all for learning a little bit of this environment, but we already have it set up and available for us inside of the attack box. They use the acronym SET for the social engineering toolkit and Try Hack Me keeps this easy and awesome. You know, it's all guided. They've got a sweet walkthrough here that literally brings you through each individual step as to what to enter, what to type in, what to look for, what to do so that we could send this phishing email. But the social engineering toolkit has so much other capabilities and sweet features. So another link in the video description, if you're interested, want to learn a little bit more about that. And if you get to anything that you're just not as familiar with, TryHackMe has a lot of these awesome little dashed or dotted underlines that clue you in as to what the SMTP protocol is or anything that you're interested in. Anywhere you see those dashed or dotted lines, they can clue you in and they even tell you some of the other rooms or activities in TryHackMe you can use to learn. And you might have seen Echo, our little AI friend here, that could help us out. I think we can walk through this A-OK -okay on our own though. They do give us some insight as to what we should send and how it should look. Because in all reality, we're crafting a phishing email. But you can use all the guided content here to help you learn and walk through these on your own. So back over on my attack box, I actually just want to open up a, another tab inside of my terminal because I do want to be able to run 
SE Toolkit. I'll hit enter on that and we can see this thing get started. Oh, and they've always got this like super cool ASCII art little banner to get the tool going here. I dig it. But set or the social engineering toolkit gives us this sort of like menu base interface. We could just enter in or type in whatever option we wanna choose. So if we're doing a social engineering attack, we'll enter one. I'll hit enter on there. And now we have a new menu. Do we wanna do some spear phishing attack vectors, website attack vectors, infectious media generator, et cetera, et cetera. Honestly, we're gonna do number five here, a mass mailer attack. Let me enter five. And this gives us a little bit more insight. There are two options when you use this mass emailer functionality. Maybe you just send one to an individual person, just send a single email, or you could import a whole list and email as many individuals as you want, like a real big phishing campaign. In this scenario, we'll just email one individual a single email address. So I'll enter one there. Now back on the try hack me instructions, they say we'll send an email to factory at whereville.thm. They give us some other insight. We'll use our own server or relay and that's actually gonna be the other IP address or the second virtual machine that we spun up. And for the ploy here, the scheme or the lure of our social engineering fish, we know that the guys at the toy factory communicate regularly with Flying Deer, a shipping company. So we'll use that as our pretense. We'll say that we're coming from updates at flyingdeer.thm as our source or sending email address. We'll say it's from Flying Deer, and then we won't use a specific username or password for the relay server. We just need to provide its IP address and the default port of 25 so it knows how to send that email address. So back to it, we're sending to factory at whereville.thm. We will use our own server. We'll provide the IP address just a bit later, but for now we need to enter the number two. And our from address should be, remember, like updates at flyingdeer.thm. Enter on that. And then the name can be simply Flying Deer, name of the shipping company. Username, remember, we didn't need to provide anything there. So we can hit enter just to leave the default, leaving it blank for the password. And then the email server IP address. Remember, that's the second virtual machine that we spun up as part of this Try Hack Me Advent of Cyber Day 2 challenge. So that's not our attack box IP address. It is the target machine that we know is running Roundcube. This software software and server for an email or SMTP server. We can copy this IP and we will paste that in 10.65.187.207. Remember your IP addresses will be different, but the port default 25 is totally okay. And do we wanna flag this message as high priority? No. Honestly, we don't need to. N, should we attach a file? N, no, that's fine. Don't need to attach a file. Don't need to attach an inline file. But again, think of the phishing or social engineering context here. If you wanted initial access, like control over their computer, like a reverse shell or, oh, actually compromising their device. Well, you may very well send malware or some sort of payload to get onto their computer. In this case, we just want their credentials. So we have this sort of fake website, watering hole attack you might hear as a credential harvester. So the email subject, well, we want it to look important, right? We need to get their attention. Let's say shipping schedule change. Like, uh-oh, we're not gonna be able to get stuff out on time for Christmas. Do we wanna send the message as HTML, hypertext markup language, or just a plain, regular plain text email? We can leave it plain at default. You can see that's in braces there. Now we need to enter the body of the message. Okay, so this is what is really supposed to convince them and we know needs to link or point to our phishing page. So let me write, dear elves, unfortunately, Due to unforeseen circumstances, we will be unable to maintain our original schedule of shipment and delivery as planned. Please review and approve the new proposed shipping schedule at, and now we include our link, the bait, setting the trap or the lure. We know that's an HTTP IP address we'll type in to go to ours. While we could host a whole website with a fancy domain and make this super real, let's just use this little scenario, 10.65.118.60. 
that was our IP address, and then port 8000 is where we're serving that fake login page. With the holiday season rapidly approaching, please approve this new timeline no later than the end of the day. Today, December 2nd, 2025. And once we're done, it does say you'll need to type the word END in all caps on a new line. So END, and there we go. Set has finished sending the emails. We can press return or enter to exit, and then we can hit 99 to return back to the main menu and close this thing out, exit the tool. Nice. Okay, so now let's keep an eye on our server and let's see if they reach our page. I'm crossing my fingers. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Hopefully I got the IP address right. They do say, hey, it might take a minute or two for this email to come through and for the poor elf victim to click the link, follow along, enter their credentials. Oh, oh, it came through, it came through. Look at this. There's the IP address of the visitor. We can see a couple like get requests as they come through and then it captured username with the password of unranked wisdom anthem. <laughs> okay. They post that to the submit endpoint and they get back to the page. So there we go. We have the username and password for this victim. We did it. We social engineered them with our phishing email. Now we get to enter these to make sure we got all this right. What is the password used to access the best festival company portal? Oh, what did they say here? Unranked wisdom anthem. Let me try and copy that value. And then I can paste this here. Let's click check. Yes, we got that one done too. All right, now we get to go to the website like the target IP address, the virtual machine that was spun up alongside the attack box, we'll access it from our attack box and now try to access the mailbox of that factory user. Like, could we log in with their credentials? So back over on my attack box, let me go ahead and get Firefox back open. This was the fish that they fell for, but let me try to get to that other IP address and log in to this round cube instance with that info. We know it was factory as the user, and then we can look back at our terminal in case we forgot or grab that unranked wisdom anthem password. And let's go ahead and paste that in and then log in. <laughs> All right, we did it. Look, we can see our own email in here. Flying deer, shipping schedule change, and that is exactly what we sent. <laughs> What's this other email that's in their inbox though? Ooh, urgent. Production and shipping request 1984000, a million 984,000 units. Uh, okay. So I think that's how many toys or how many shipments should be going out the door. This is a long email. I think that's the secret sauce though. That looks like what we're looking for. Repeat confirmation, the total requested to be manufactured and shipped is 1,984,000 units. So that is the number that we wanna be able to submit. And that is the secret. Back over on the Try Hack Me interface, let me go ahead and submit, paste that and check. Got that done and that's it. We can now, if we wanted to, maybe explore and further our learning. If we enjoyed this, we can go take a look at the fishing prevention room. But I think we're done for today's day two task from TriHackMe Advent of Cyber. We did it. Look, that was some super sweet exposure and awareness education on the social engineering toolkit as one utility, one tool in your toolbox, and a little bit of social engineering, a little bit of phishing being able to understand just how easy it is to lay a trap, lay a lie out for someone to unknowingly enter their password and give away their credentials for a bad actor, for a hacker, cyber criminal, or in a penetration test for some ethical hacking. Doing this stuff for all the right reasons, and that is, I think, what we're celebrating this month for the advent of cyber 2025. Big thanks to Try Hack Me for letting me join the party this year. Big thanks to everyone that's been able to do some awesome stuff with this event, and I'm looking forward to all the rest of the write-ups, all the rest of the videos, everyone flexing, showing off, doing what they can do for this game on Try Hack Me. Thank you again and again. I'm done rambling. Let's get to the next day, the next day tasks, the next day challenges, and I'll see you then. Happy holidays, everybody.